when you get into this 03 to 1, 2, the euphoria, um, we've, all, we've all been there. Get a little higher, you're getting into emotional instability, loss of judgment, reaction times go really bad, decreased sensory <clears throat> response. Um, I, in, in my early days as a toxicologist, I participated in a drinking study uh, where we were consumed alcohols and did the field sobriety test and had, we did, gave breath tests and simultaneous blood draws and urine tests and, and all this. Um, and I was able to, well, first of all, I was surprised at what a 05 felt like. I, I was at the point, I didn't know what my blood alcohol was. But at 05, I said, you know what, I don't think I'd drive now. And I, and I was, they told me, like, well, you're in an 05. We eventually got to, I personally got to a 0.18, which is high. I mean, that's ridiculously high. It's not that high for the blood samples that we see. But I can honestly say that that was the drunkest I've ever been in my life. I don't remember everything that happened that night. I could barely walk. I could not undress myself. I mean, I got into my house, fell down in the kitchen, and slept there for a while. Until, <laughs> so I, I, I don't, when I see people at point two that are driving, I just don't know how they get the key. I don't think I could get the key in the hole. I don't think I could. Yeah, you get up here, increased pain threshold, exaggerated emotional states. I, lo I love this. I love you, man. I love you. You know, the guy that never talked to you in his whole life, so you're the best. And then when you get higher, you talk about stupor, um, inability to stand or walk. These are your falling down drunks. Some officers report this. Incontinence, people that pee themselves, or worse. And then you, after that, you get into real, real clinical problems, um, possible death. And then, generally speaking, if you're over 0.45, you're risking respiratory arrest. 